tell you about Kitchoff's current law. Kirchhoff's current law. Now, you can represent Kirchhoff's current law in two ways. But both ways is the right and both ways conclude with same conclusion, same result. So, no matter in which way you will represent. So, today I will discuss both ways to represent the Kirchhoff's current law. This is way 1, this is way 2. What is Kirchhoff's current law? That is, the algebraic sum of the current meeting in any junction of an electrical circuit is 0. That is, the algebraic sum of the current meeting any junction in a electrical circuit is zero. And where to you can represent Kirchhoff's current law like this way. The current entering at any junction will be equal to the current outgoing or current leaving that junction of any electrical circuit. That means in any electrical circuit entering summation of entering current will be equal to the summation of the leaving current. Okay. Now, I am explaining this two way through a circuit. Say, this is a circuit. This is a circuit. Here also I am drawing the same circuit for clearing your confusion whether both way of representation is same or not. That's why I have drawn the same circuit. Say, this is the source E, this is the current leaving from the source that is I. Here also I am writing this is I and from this junction I am named this junction as A. This is the junction A and from the first branch the current flowing say I1 from second I2 and to the third that is I3 current is flowing here also I1 I2 and from the third branch I3 current is flowing now in the first way what we have got the algebraic sum of the current Meeting any junction in an electrical circuit is 
0. So, we will work with junction A. Here also we will work with junction A. That means algebraic sum of the current meeting. Any junction in the electrical circuit. Now, we are seeing in the A junction, I current is the incoming current. And I1, I2 and I3 currents are the outgoing current. So, for incoming, we are taking positive. And for outgoing, we are taking as negative. You can also take incoming as negative, outgoing as positive. No matter, it depends on you. So, for incoming, this is I. So, we are writing I. Algebraic sum, that means plus outgoing. That is, I1, I2 and I3 are the outgoing current of the junction A. That means, all are assigned by negative sign. That means, this will be I2 plus, my, oh, sorry, I1 plus I2 plus minus of I3 equal to 0. That means from here, what we can write? I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Okay. Now come in this circuit for way 2. See, in this circuit, what we have written? In any electrical circuit, summation of the entering current will be equal to the summation of leaving current. At the junction A, entering current is I. There is no other entering current. So, we are writing I equal to the summation of the leaving current. Here, three leaving current, I1, I2, I3. So, write I1 plus I2 plus I3. Now, say, from OA1, we have got the equation I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. And from OA2 also, we have got the same equation I equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. That means, both way is correct. For Kirchhoff's current law or Kirchhoff's one number law. Okay. So, what you can do? You can represent the Kirchhoff's current law in any way like in by A1, way 1 or through way 2. Or you can represent the Kirchhoff's current law in both ways. Thank you. Hope you have liked this video. Please subscribe, share and watch. And please... Don't forget to press the bell for further notification.